In another laboratory, Professor Hurst works on a sedated fruit bat with his longest serving researcher, Josephine Bancroft. All right, looks all right. Call it a mutually unending quest for knowledge, adding, always adding to what is already known. That's good. The Prevent Blindness Foundation's single most important achievement has been the opening of the Queensland Eye Bank in 1992. It is now the best eye bank in Australia. There was just no service prior to my coming here. What was done was totally haphazard. It served a purpose, but it was really very ineffective. And we now have, eight years later, a service that's second to none. It really is the best eye bank in Australia and we're going on our way to having the best eye bank anywhere. It takes corneas from those who have given their eyes in death in order that they may be used in life. The eye bank provides corneal transplants to approximately 400 Queensland patients a year and several hundred corneas annually to patients in other states and overseas. While in New South Wales, for example, there are waiting lists of up to 1,500 people who have to wait six months or longer to receive their corneal transplants, in Queensland, since the eye bank opened, the waiting list has shrunk to none, zero. That is part of the vital legacy Lawrence Hurst is already passing on to the doctors of tomorrow. To work with Professor Lawrence Hurst over several months in the course of making this video is to observe a man of many facets. It is with great pleasure that I present you with this envelope in which are cheques and cash to the sum of $1,340. There is the sharp authority of the utterly confident physician. It'll only take about 15 minutes once I'm started. That's, and you can ask the theatre staff, I'm always The sometimes time. intimidating, demanding manner of a perfectionistic down, surgeon. Into one of the, yeah, one of the, come on, yeah, drop it in. I just wanted to get, get into one of the fingers. No, 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 just the just whole thing. A doctor confident in putting the interests of his patients first. And I mean, after all. That's where my skills lie in doing just this sort of job. So, I mean, I feel very confident of what I do, but it doesn't mean I become overconfident or I have some ego that says I should tackle everything. My good sense and experience tells me that we ought not to tackle this at the present moment. Who can display a sense of humility and ready humour, rarely found among the lofty ranks of surgeons. <laughs> where a cane cutter receives a biological glue to close a hole in his eye. You're going to feel some solution running down your face now. A solicitor requires a corneal transplant. His eyesight is vital for the continuance of his career. Yet another modern miracle of surgery is about to unfold. A miracle so exacting, so precise, so incredibly delicate, almost hypnotic. Cutting a diseased cornea from a living eye and replacing it with a gift from another whose time has passed. Fitting a round button in a round hole. It's got to seal nicely. You can't do with even a minute leak. It's got to be perfectly sealed at the end of surgery.